So I've been delaying this video for way too long. The sort of final caliber recruit watch video. It's a quartz chronograph and while it is a watch I wear pretty much when I'm out and about and at work and it's not the weekend. Shortly after I got the watch, let's just say something happened to it that isn't really a big deal or at least it shouldn't be for me. However, I am still angry that it happened. Let me see if I can get the watch. And I am going to, to reset it to zero now. Do you see that? This is when it's reset to zero about two to three seconds before zero about yeah it's set at 58 seconds and not zero and just to kind of prove it i will is it working okay i will click you can see it ticking i am going to stop and again, reset it to zero. And this really irks me. Saying that, however, it keeps accurate time. Well, it's quartz, so it should. But it's was definitely a the watch is still new and it is under warranty but if i have to make a warranty claim that early in the watch's lifespan or really in any product's lifespan I'm always wondering what's even the point if it's that early. It's just going to break down again, isn't it? So I haven't made a warranty claim, don't see the point. But it still really irks me. However, if it wasn't for that zero being 58 seconds, I really like this watch. It's, it is a big watch, but I am by no means a small figured man. My wrists are I shouldn't necessarily say they're big, what I really should say is when I look at my watch, I want to be able to clearly tell what time it is, so I like bigger watches because it's just easier to quickly go, oh, it's this time. It is comfortable. Strap is a rubber, I'm not going to say it's plastic because it's not, but it is a rubber, not a metal or a leather. Not really a fan of the rubber, though it does feel nice, I shall confess. I like leather straps. Not really a fan of metal straps because it's just too finicky to get it to properly fit on the wrist. 
And it's also a matter of no matter how you set that metal strap, if it's too big for you, it's too big. If it's too small, it's too small. And I don't also just you see how I'm moving my wrist around and the watch is staying in place? I like that with my watches. I don't like watches where you move around and the watch will move around and it'll be under your wrist. Not a deal breaker, but an inconvenience for me personally because I am that kind of person where I'm looking at my watch all the time. This isn't a... Like, yeah, it's something I want to look nice. It's something where I don't want a cheap watch. But it's not a... Uh, jewelry for me. It's a tool. And I want it to be a good quality tool. And I want it as a tool to be convenient for me to use its purpose, which is to obviously know what time it is. Having to go like this and then flip or go like this, which I don't like looking at my watch this way, it just feels wrong to me. I know there are many people who do, I am not one of them. But I do like the strap in that it fits tightly snug to the wrist which means all I have to do whenever I'm out and about and at work is just alright that's the time easy peasy for me final rating is going to be poorer than it should be Honestly, a lot poorer than it could be because of the fact that within just a matter of a few weeks, I think it was less than a month of me wearing it, I noticed it was setting at 58 seconds. So because of that, 55 out of 100. Very, very unpleased was it so quickly setting at 58 seconds and not zero. So, now that this is over with, I don't know when the next one will be because I am saving up for a overall higher quality watch by no means a luxury but something more towards the upper end of medium price for a watch not not an eight hundred dollar watch uh something that's gonna cost a few grand because although they do not keep accurate time as well as quartz i do like automatics because then I never have to worry about having to replace a battery. And more importantly, I don't have to worry about winding the watch every so often, which considering I have arthritis in my fingers and yeah, you see this, my, this finger right here, I have a hard time making a fist and 
it's not necessarily painful, but it's very uncomfortable when I do. <sighs> yeah, the knuckle gets stuck. So having to wind a watch, I pretty much have to take it off the wrist I wear it on. And use my dominant hand. Which also has the same problem, just significantly less frequently. This, I pretty much have to pop back in place. Not on a daily basis, but almost daily basis. Thanks for watching everybody, take care and bye.